All right, so while we're waiting for the next quest to uh, the pick up on here, which essentially is uh, find another way to free uh, Dombra from uh, Clavicus, we're going to clear out this cave here. Um, we kind of cleared it out like the outside part um, from the previous mission. So we're going to go inside of here and clear it out. Um, this is the, let's see, the Swindler's Den, which I think we, we've been here before, like through other previous saves and stuff like that, but, um, it's been a minute, so I'm not expecting too much resistance. Uh, it was just regular bandits out here. I do actually have a new staff that I didn't know came with the, uh, one of the mods that I'm using. Um, see if I get a chance to actually use it, but it is the, uh, let me see, uh, Cassandra's Frostwitch staff, which, uh, shoots out basically a, uh, uh, Freezing Whirlwind that does like 40 points of frost damage, so it kind of fits with the build. Uh, especially if I don't have like enough magic to cast things. Time to end this little game. Of course, being stuck in here. Yeah, we're kind of stuck in here, so let me see if I can do something about this. There we go. Yeah, for some reason we were stuck between like the dogs and the other bandits and stuff, but uh, it's been a while since we played. I do apologize for the uh, delay and um, and uploading these videos. Just a, a couple of things have happened from um, time to time. And if you guys were in the Discord or you haven't joined the Discord, um, it'll, it'll kind of explain where I've been um, for some for some time as to why like videos haven't been coming out. But in any case, that's neither here nor there. We're still continuing on with the De Umbra um, storyline. Uh, right now, we're kind of at a point to where we need to kind of, I guess, wait for the next segment to kick in. So uh, when that goes on, we'll do like a little bit of exploring and questing, and we'll try and uh, we'll try and uh, just kind of get through it, maybe level up a little bit. So yeah, it's kind of hard to like attack through here, okay. Because of one of the mods I have called Precision, it makes it a little hard to uh, basically attack um, in small quarters because it like reflex. You guys are fine. Uh, makes it a little bit harder to like attack in like small corners with weapons. Good thing is it also affects NPCs as well too, so. Um, it affects them to the point where they can't like actually use like their uh, their weapons and abilities too. Ah! All right, so we got a mage outlaw above us. I doubt they're gonna come down. Come on. Killing you will make for an excellent story. Did I kill you already? I guess not. All right, so let's see if we can find a way up there to to deal with that bandit. Uh, let's see, probably around here. If I take a guess. Ooh, that's a twin blade. We might actually take that from you. So let's take a look and see. Uh, Steel Twin Blade. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, damage. Steel Twin Blade. Too much Too many Oops. Okay, so we actually have movesets too for this too. So we, we might dabble with this. We, we might dabble with the twin, um, the twin blades here, but. Uh, since we're in kind of like smaller areas, we definitely still want to try and um, use our, our magic here for now. Show me what 
It's the only like weakness of like the precision mod as much as I like it. Um, it does have an issue with like um beat up against walls and like small corners, like your weapons will bounce off the stuff. It's it's cool in theory. Um makes combat definitely harder. But it, it can also be a little annoying to where like you're trying to hit an enemy and it's like, oh, you're bouncing off a wall. I think there was one more person on here. Yeah. Oh, not oh, more than one, Jesus. That didn't take long. Bandit Chief, what did you have on you? Uh, fix a poison, deal six points of damage for 10 seconds. Uh, I mean, we could take it. Don't need any of the Nordic stuff. And the archer, well, uh, nothing really on them. I know I have a torch on me, I believe. Do I have a lantern? Yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. Cool. All right, let's see what our, uh, what our prize is here. Uh, Lucian spells and hand spells. Hmm. Interesting. So it looks like we got like a little spell book here. Um, that increase our illusion magic and stuff like that. Interesting. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here. Uh, not really too much else here that we need. Like I said, I'm just doing this just to clear it out so that way, um, just kill kill a little bit of time and get a little bit more experience and stuff like that. What was that? <laughs> How he didn't die earlier? I have no idea. But okay, it looks like we cleared it out finally, so we can get out of here. Um, and then I guess, we're, like I said, we're just kind of waiting for like the next cutscene to play out. Um, which takes a minute sometimes. Uh, maybe after we do some things with uh, the Umbra, we can talk with her and that'll like, kickstart the next quest line. Hmm. Okay, so we maybe have some new dialogue here. What is it you desire? Hmm, maybe not. Uh, I thought we had something here. Hmm. If it hmm. is there something else you need? No, just kind of waiting for the quest to progress. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why the quest isn't progressing at this point. Um, I don't know if it's like a time thing or something, but be sure to give to the needy. I guess you can buy a horse. Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim. Suppose so. Got one all saddled. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Okay. Well, at least we all have horses now. Um, uh, well, I have a horse. Um, Takata has her horse and then Umbra is doing Umbra things. Um, I mean, I guess we can kind of like go adventuring around a little bit. Um, Elysium Estate. Hmm, interesting. Go take a look at that. Hmm. One of those, like one of those things where you can purchase it. Greetings. If that is all you need. Pretty nice estate, all things considering. I don't know who it belongs to. Requires a key, huh? Imagine there's some place where you can like purchase the key and and take control of this estate. It has some pretty nice stuff to it. Uh, crafting materials, um, it's like a weapon rack and stuff like that, crates and all that. Okay, nice little little bathing area. Okay, might have to actually take advantage of this. Uh, we'll look into this and see if we can purchase it. But uh, here lies the caretaker. Damn. 
What visions shall behold oh. my sight Hello. today? Hello. Female wonder. boss man. Yes? Uh, you're a ghost. I am the caretaker of Elysium Estate. Okay. Uh, do you know who owns the house? This house is owned by Kenneth. Uh, okay. How can a home belong to a goddess? Kenneth has chosen many whom are worthy. The last owner died years ago. I think I died too. Huh. Something in the sky attacked and burned my body. Maybe a dragon, it sounds like? Soldiers from Whiteman found me too late. I was dead. They buried my body with a headstone on the grounds. Why are you still connected to the earth? Kenneth kept my soul here to find someone worthy. Are you worthy? Maybe? Uh, I, I just want to purchase the house. Purchase it you cannot. However, if you wish to know more, you should visit Kenneth's shrine in the garden. It would be enlightening. Sure. May kind bless you. Okay, so we can be her champion. Uh, I mean, we, we'll probably dabble in that as well. Kind of like a side little quest thing, but I really want to progress through our main quest right now. Oh, okay. Now something's happened. Uh, what's going on? Your, I guess your body finally started to give out? Well, well, well. What is this new toy you've brought into this world? Is this really my Umbra? Why? This has all sorts Clavius. of potentially delightful applications. Look, we had a deal. Uh, we have a deal, of course, of course. My word is my bond. Too bad the original owner of this body couldn't strike her own deal with you first. Hmm. Maybe you two could have shown her the same kind of mercy. Wait, that's... That's none of your concern. That's not very nice. Imagine if I had told you that back at the cave, when I had every right to absorb her. In fact, I had more of a right to absorb her then, than you two had to hijack this poor woman's body now. I guess poor Callisto had a right idea, but he forgot the rules. Mm. Rule number one. Be the hero of the story. Rule number two. Do not anger Daedric princes who can steal your loved ones with a snap of their fingers. Oh wait, that was not for Calixto. Like, what do you want? What, what, what's the price for you to leave us alone? A thousand dragon souls. That ain't happening. Why? Although you have to admit, taking over someone like Elisif would be all kinds of fun for this little province, wouldn't it? I mean, it worked well enough for Jaeger Farm, hmm? I'll be seeing you two have fun while I think about the next step of our partnership. So she basically like, took over the, the body. Talk to me, Darumper. What's going on? I... I feel... violated. Is this what Umbra's victims felt? Is this what my victims could feel? I don't... I don't... know. I can't. Hmm. Yes, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's just go. Interesting. So what happens next? Like, so then... Can we not put her back in his body? Let's see, we'll automatically like reject her out. Okay. Alright, so we got a, a letter that was teleported to our pocket. Um I don't think it was the anonymous letter. Now 
we can ignore that one. Uh, let's see. Is it? Here we go. I felt Clavius, uh, Clavius too. Come to the Lover's Stone east of Markarth. It's only appropriate. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess we have our goal now where we can start heading towards. Um, what do you want? So we can still leave her in the body, thankfully. Um, if that is all you which is need. good. I mean, I guess he doesn't like clearly extract her out. I don't know if he does it all the time, but if that is all you need. at least we got like some headway now where we need to go. Um, so. Alright, so we need to go back to Markarth. Uh, we could probably go for the, not Skyhaven Temple. Um, we we'll go to the carriage stop and then travel there. So we'll travel to the Lover's Stone and, uh, we can progress a little bit further. I know I need to, like, sleep to reflect on what I've done and I'll do that off screen. Um, but yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to hug my horse. I don't, I don't need to hug my horse. It, it ain't that special. Cool. Alright, well, Takata, you gonna get on your horse? Alright, cool. Alright. But yeah, it took some time to kind of guess, like, get to that point. Um, it may be something with my quest mod list or something. Um, oh, some Kajik uh, set up camp here. Um... As to why it took so long, maybe I don't know. Maybe it just just takes a while to um to to progress through. But at least we got it there now. The so, but like I said, we may get rid of Takata um, after this line of quest because it seems like she just does a lot of damage. Um, I think we need to go up. Let me see, which we can cut through here to get to the Lover Stone. See what she has to say in regards to um. And of course there's a dragon here, so we will have to take care of this, cause yeah, that dragon's gonna interfere. Now let's see if we can actually, uh, actually deal damage to it. Um, oh, Minotaurs! Nice, Dumbra. Very nice. Alright, so cool. Well, actually, we have the shouts to bring it down. Gotta get some, uh, get some strikes in. Lonely Maiden? Okay. I don't know why you're here, but... Oh wait, her... Oh, we lost her body, didn't we? Uh, I don't know where your body is. I'm so sorry. Um, that kind of sucks. Hmm. 
a little unfortunate that we lost the body, but I mean, it is what it is. Wasn't expecting a cave bear, minotaur, and a plague dragon. Uh, let's see. Oh, who are you guys? Looks like you guys are just mercenaries, right? I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Need something? <laughs> All right then. Hi. Mm. Mm, okay. All right then. So they're just regular adventurers. They're not like no real threat. Um. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's nothing we can really do about it. There's a card of the mystics somewhere around here. Someone had something. Um, yeah, I don't know where her body dropped, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, we're back. I think Tavikus too. You don't have to say anything. No speeches. Here is the ideal core. Countless lives were sacrificed to create it. You know what you have to do. This better not be a trick. I'll keep your body safe, and I'll channel your soul back in at the very moment you swap the cause. You have my word. She's not her useful, I'll playful speak self. With her when you're ready. Hmm. You're about to travel inside of more soul space as a journey you must not take alone. Dismiss any other campaigns for you. Ask the wrong brother to do the unthinkable. Okay. Cool. Alright. So. We'll go ahead and save it here. Alright, we'll talk to Takata because that's the only real companion that we have. Is there something I can help you with? Um. It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. All right, and we'll find you later, Takata. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh, now that can't be. Seems to be dragging all over the place. Honestly, I see one across the way, and there's another one roaring around here somewhere. But, um, in any case, uh, yeah. I mean, we'll cut this part here. Just because we kind of took a little bit to try and get here. We'll cut this part here and then um, we will start another part to uh, speak with the Umbra and we will continue on inside of the core, which we'll be traveling by ourselves. I mean, we can summon um, some familiars and things like that, but essentially it's going to be a, a, a battle on our own. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm actually a little terrified uh, and a little interested to see what happens. <laughs>